I would sit on, I want to stand on this, but it spins. And every time I stand on it, I fall. Hello everyone, today I have a favorites video and I decided that I'm not going to do monthly favorites anymore. Um, but I would just do favorites videos of stuff that I like whenever I feel like doing them. First is this Origins hand cream. I've had this for like three years now and look how much I have left. It's quite amazing actually. Look, it's right in the, the lens flare. <laughs> it is called Gloom Away and it is in grapefruit flavor. This stuff is great. I get really dry, gross grandma hands in the winter. Um, especially being in New York, it's like so windy. Uh, like you're walking through the streets and it's a wind tunnel, wind tunnel, wind, wind, you're like dodging stuff. I mean, I wear gloves, but my hands still get pretty cold. So this stuff helps. I use it every night before I go to sleep. It is pretty fragrant. I like the smell of it, but sometimes when I'm like trying to fall asleep, like I sleep like this. Like I actually sleep like the sleeping symbol. And sometimes it's like really, really a lot, like under my nose area, but I make it work. Next is an article of clothing and um, more general, it's than just this shirt. Um, turtlenecks, I've been loving them. I purchased three turtlenecks this season. I feel like they make me look older and more sophisticated. This one is from Urban Outfitters and I got it on sale for $10 like probably three weeks ago or a month ago. So they might still have them if you're, you know, searching on the prowl. It's just really lightweight, um, kind of like loose on the bottom. I love this one. I also have one that I got at Nordstrom Rack that is a little bit thicker and it's black. Um, and then I have like a halter one that's ribbed and it's sh like short sleeve or tank top, whatever the heck you want to say. I'm really, really digging them. Next, I have this lovely little necklace that I got backwards. Mm. <laughs> I got this at Forever 21 and it was like a dollar and eighty cents. Probably the best dollar and eighty cents I've ever spent because I wear this sucker like every day. Sometimes I'll wear it under my clothes just because I want it there on my bod. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I don't do that, but I do really like this. It's just like very simple and um, it's not too small that it gets lost, but it's just right. It's like the porridge, you know? Like, how do you want your porridge, little bear? Just right! Next I have my spectacles. Uh, I just got this pair about a month and a half ago from Warby Parker. Um, and I am very, very much into Warby Parker glasses. They're very affordable. Um, the customer service is great there. And I went to the one in Soho and it's very big, it's very crowded, but they always are pretty expedient when you go in there, which was really awesome. So I got this pair. I think it's called the Walker. And I remember that because of The Walking Dead and they call them walkers. <laughs> so that's how I'm pretty sure that these are them. Um, I think they're really fun, and I can't see anything because my contacts are in, so it's like double vision. I kind of have a crooked nose, so these are a little crooked on my nose, which I might have to go and get them to fix that because I don't want that. My camera just died. Hopefully this is like about where I was. Okay, so this blush is by Origins. It's called Pinch Your Cheeks, and it's in Pink Petal. And I like this one because it's kind of, it's pink, but it also has like a bronzy tint and it is matte, so it's a good shade overall. Um, and then speaking of matte, I got this Essie nail polish in Brooklyn one day when I was there. And they had like street vendors and it was, oh, I look like I have, like if I like stand like in certain lights, I'm like stashing it up. <laughs> I look like I have a mustache. But this color is called Bahama Mama. I've been wearing this like every time I paint my nails and I love it. So I have two leather things. Um, the first thing is this leather jacket that I bought at Zara a few weeks ago. I'm obsessed. I wear this pretty much like, well, I would say like every other day. I'm going to wear it today. It's really comfortable. It's not like stiff or anything. I am a big fan and I'm pretty sure they'll still have it if you go now. And then I have these leather leggings that are from Mink Pink and they're awesome because they have this like kind of sparkly business going on on the side so it's like party on the side they're high-waisted they're really awesome um and i think these are from their resort line um so if you want to check out the video in the down bar you can um see what else they have to offer i know they have like swimwear and stuff if you wanted holiday ideas but i'm a sucker for these they're awesome super comfortable and they also have like funky detail like right there oh the sun look at the sun on them <laughs> my last tangible favorite is this 
tea and this is the celestial tea I'm a big tea person um, it's my way of not binge eating at like 9 o'clock at night I'll just make myself some tea and I'm like ready to go um, this is Bengal spice and one of my friends told me about this and I'm obsessed I don't even have to put like usually I put agave nectar in my tea don't need anything with this because it's kind of like spicy but it's not overwhelming it's really awesome and I recommend it then the other random things that I am loving um, one is I watched the movie Girl Interrupted uh, like three nights ago and I had never seen it before it's with Angelina Jolie and Winona Ryder and it's incredible I was like glued to my computer screen so if you've never seen that definitely check it out it's really really amazing I've been loving Milo Green. Um, one song that I really love is called On the Fence, and it's really catchy, fun, um, and it still has kind of like, it's not like a, your generic pop music, but I think you guys will really like it, so definitely check that out. And then my last favorite is my TV favorite. I am obsessed with Downton Abbey. I started watching it, I'm on season four currently, and I started watching it like a few weeks ago. My Amazon player is my Amazon. Prime player is being a little funky as of lately so I haven't been able to watch it but Downton Abbey if you are a sucker for any period pieces or anything that's set in um, Britain in like the 20s and like you will die it's so so good <laughs> but you probably already watch it if you are obsessed with that, those things like I am so those are my favorites of the moment of the fall time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any requests at all please leave them in the just down description <laughs> no the comment section obviously that's where comments go and i will answer them so have an awesome day and i will talk to you guys later bye <laughs>